How are you? Great. Can you hear me? Yay! <laughs> I got you. How are you? Ah, uh, well, techno technologically challenged, apparently. No, every time we do this, it's always a rough start. I well, I, to... I, oh, go ahead. I, I, first of all, I very rarely am on Facebook, and I've never done a Facebook Live, so consider yourself fortunate. Nice. Well, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, people do Lives in Instagram. I haven't quite figured that one out. And then now YouTube lets you do Lives. So I'm wondering if one of those platforms might be a little bit easier, because um, Facebook can be a little bit tricky. Like the first time, I think we went live six times before we got it right. Got it. <laughs> got it. Well... I had to I had to go to my email because I have no idea what my login is. Oh no! <laughs> get get one. So we're all we're all good. We're all good. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like it looks like it's just me and you right now, though, right? Right now, I think we got one on here right now, but that's okay. I usually post it once we're done, and then other people watch it after that. So we might have some more people hop on. Um, but go ahead and tell me um, a little bit about you. How long have you been uh, working in the home warranty industry, and how long have you been with America's Preferred? Well, um, I, I'm kind of an interesting study in this business. Um, I was actually a loan officer for about 10 years. Really? Uh, never thought, yeah, yeah, never, never imagined myself being in the home warranty space mm -hmm. for a couple of for a couple of reasons. Um, as a consumer, um, never really felt there was a value in a home warranty. I'm fairly handy. I can fix most of this stuff in my own house. But my biggest hang-up with a home warranty was under a typical home warranty model, if you need something like your water heater replaced or your air conditioner you need worked on, I wanted the ability to choose my own contractor to do the work, right? Um, everything that we do in relation to our home and business, we want to try to have some sort of a relationship with, right? So, so for a warranty company to send someone out to my house um, that I didn't know who he was, where he came from, and technically he worked for the warranty company, I was never right. you know, interested in that. Um, so as fate would have it, uh, about 10 years ago, I was in a spot where I needed to find some employment, uh, and I was introduced to this little company out of Jackson, Michigan, uh, and being an Ohio, Ohio state guy, that was really hard to swallow. But, uh, <laughs> but the, the, the first thing I noticed about, about America's preferred was that we allow the homeowner to choose their own contractor to do the work. And with that, the rest is kind of history. Um, I've been with the company for about 10 years. Uh, my original territory was the eastern half of the state of Georgia. So I hit the ground running with a new product that nobody ever heard of, with a new model that nobody ever heard of. Um, but I was passionate about making it work. And again, that was 10 years ago. Uh, and, I, and I've never looked back. So, you know, our model is very different in the fact that we do let the homeowner use their own contractor. There are huge benefits, not only to the homeowner in that, but to the real estate professional as well, because the real estate professional can now leverage their relationships with plumbers and electricians and HVAC yeah. guys um, and, and use them as another referral source. Yeah, that's so, awesome. I had no idea you were in the lending side of it first. Yep, that's yep. Awesome. In fact, I just, got, I just got out of a meeting where the loan officer was doing the main the main body of the meeting and I left and I said, that's kind of why that refreshed my memory, why I got out of being a loan officer. <laughs> right? No, I get it. So when we're talking about a home warranty, there's a lot, um, I think there's a lot of misconception in that. So I had a client that received multiple offers um, on her property and one of the offers said a home warranty. And she goes, I'm not warranting anything in there. Like, I'm not paying to fix it in six months if something breaks. And I said, no, 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 that's not, that's not what they're asking for. And I kind of explained it and she was like, oh, okay. I said, they're wanting you to pay for a home warranty that's going to go to you know, another company. And if they have any issues, they're going to call that company and they're going to fix it. They're just asking you to pay the bill at closing. And then she was like, okay, I guess that makes sense. But her first thought was they want me to warranty this house after right. closing and I'm not doing that. I'm like, that's not why I'm selling it to you. Like now it's, if you want to do that, then I need to be your landlord. Right. You know? So, right. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah, once I kind of explained it and, and I will say, um, I, when we bought our house, 
we were given a 210 home warranty. Maybe I shouldn't have said who it was. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we were given a home warranty with another company. And the day we moved in, our upstairs AC went out. Now, our house was built in 83. The main unit that serviced the downstairs um, and kind of like was fed into the basement um, was original to the house. So we bought in 2018, this was a 35 year old unit. We knew that one was gonna be replaced and we had the funds to do that. We did not anticipate the one that was only five years old going out. Yep. Um, and so I was like, hey, we got the home warranty, let's call them. Um, they send somebody out here, he looks around, he goes, it's a train and I'm not certified to work on trains. So I'm gonna send somebody else out. Next guy comes out and he is, mad at the world i don't know what was wrong with him that day he's mad at the world we didn't even know he was coming out he just showed up um and he looked around and he left didn't even say goodbye didn't tell us anything just left and i was like okay so i called to yeah i called the company back and they go oh well he told us that it's a pre-existing condition there was like trash in the lines or something and so we're not going to cover it um i fought with them for at least a month um, before I was like, you know what? Like my kids, that's where my kids are. They're upstairs. So they're living in the couch in the living room because they can't go up there because it's so hot. Um, and we got another company to come out and they spent, they spent three weeks trying to get this train to run again. Um, and they finally said, listen, you know, we're at about a thousand dollars in labor and things that we've done at this point, we can put that cost towards, you know, a new unit and we can just go ahead and replace the unit. And I'm like, you know, what do you suggest we do? They said, well, we could still play around with this for however long and maybe it'll fix, maybe it won't. Um, we just suggest replacing it. And thankfully we had the money to do it, but I still was fighting with this other warranty company. I sent them copies of the inspection report that said that it was in good working order at the time of the inspection um and they refused to do anything and so that was my first experience with a home warranty company and until i met you and learned about america's preferred i honestly thought they were a joke and a waste of time and why would you why would anybody pay for this because we had such a horrible experience yeah. Um, yeah. Well, unfortunately, yeah, and I hear those stories a lot, right? And and I tell everybody, you know, I, I'm very passionate about what I do because when you're buying or selling a house and, and you are, I hate to tell you, you're one of the, the statistics, but statistically, if you're buying a house that's been previously occupied, there's almost an 80% chance that something will fail in the first year, right? It's It's just the way it is. People sell houses a lot of times, believe it or not, because they know something's going to break and they don't have the money or they don't want to, you know, to mess right. with it. So even the, you know, you have your seller's disclosures, all that. And believe it or not, I hope you're sitting down. People don't always tell the right? truth, right? Stop. So, <laughs> so, so in, in addition to that, nearly 70% of the claims that we pay on my side of the fence happen in the first 90 days, yeah. right? So I'm very passionate about what we do is a really good thing. And, and, you know, I tell my real estate professionals, look, the cost of the warranty is at at, a, at you know at an average seven hundred dollars, right? It's not a big number, no. but it can help you reduce headaches, stress, risk, right? And why you wouldn't put a warranty on every transaction, whether you're representing the seller or the buyer, is something that we scratch our heads about. Um, Industry wide, um, only about thirteen percent of the homes that are purchased and sold actually have a home warranty on them and so you know there's there's the, the market is wide open it's, it's just our job to convince the buyer the seller and the real estate agent why it's a good idea right. right um and unfortunately over the years warranty companies have gotten a bad reputation right um and i tell all my folks look it really doesn't matter what's in the brochure the brochure could tell you we're going to cover and fix everything on the planet but if the contractor that comes out to your house is incompetent Mm -hmm. doesn't understand the equipment can't get it fixed you're not a happy camper regardless right, right? so you know it, and, and again that's something that's very difficult for warranty companies to control they do their best to get good people but 
typically the, the contractors that are working for warranty companies are working for them because either A, they need new business, mm -hmm. which tells you they can't get their own business, yep. which tells you they might not be very good at what they do, yep. right? And, and unfortunately now, full disclosure, I'm sure there's a lot of technicians that are phenomenal out there that work for warranty companies, right? right? But but the general the general the general guy out there is is typically not someone you would you would invite in right. on your own, right? Yeah. Right. So that's why I love choose your own contractor as the model. It eliminates a lot of the headaches that typically go along with a home warranty. And again, full disclosure, our model is very different. Where if you have a dishwasher or a microwave or a water heater that needs replaced, we don't replace the physical equipment in the house. But what we do is give the homeowner cash and let them decide to use that money to fix what's broken or buy something new. So they're in control of not only the process, but the, the equipment yeah, they can that, buy, right? That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and so nine times out of 10, I think, maybe even 100% of the time, people associate maybe a home warranty with only being something that can be purchased in conjunction with a sale. Uh, I, I'm purchasing a new right. house. This is the only time that I could purchase one or have someone purchase one, have the seller purchase it for me. So when, when and who should buy a home warranty? Well, that obviously the answer to that question is it depends, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, you see advertisements on the radio or television all the time for home warranty companies. You can buy a home warranty at any time you want, whether you're an existing homeowner or you're purchasing a piece of real estate, right? Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, you have a 30-day waiting period. So if you wanted to buy a warranty on your own home currently, you could purchase one. There'd be a 30-day waiting period. And the simple reason for that, people tend to think about buying home warranties when they know their right. equipment's going to break, <laughs> right? Right. Um, what I specialize in is what we call the transactional side, um, so the purchase and the sale. Um, and typically on the purchase and sale side, the seller normally is the one that pays right. for that, Right. Uh, and again, if you're using a real estate agent, uh, the real estate agent is going to have conversations with you as the seller to what to expect from the buyer, right? So the buyer is typically going to request maybe some closing costs that are paid for by the seller. They're going to ask possibly for a home warranty. So if the home is priced correctly, at the end of the day, the cost for the warranty can be a net zero to the seller, right? Because it's seven hundred dollars. You're you're not gonna you're not gonna lose the sale of your house for seven hundred dollars. Right. So, so as again, a huge proponent of what we do is the seller's agent has negotiated this warranty as part of the package. And statistically, we know there's close to an 80% chance something's going to break. What a wonderful thing to give your buyer who just spent a lot of money purchasing a home to give them some peace of mind that they get, and I don't want to call it free money, but when you can help offset that right. cost of a $3,000 you know, charge with $2,000, Guess who might get more referrals? Right, absolutely. Right? So, and that's that's really what we as a as as a company try to preach is it's great that we fix your plumbing and your electric and your water mm -hmm. heater, right? But how can you, as a real estate professional, use the warranty to help your business? Right. And it all comes down to the referral piece, right? right. Happy customers are going to send are going to send you know friends and family to their agent who just saved them three thousand dollars. Right. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So with that, so let's say that I'm just a homeowner right now um, and I'm looking at, you know, hey, yeah, maybe, maybe I know some things are probably on their last leg. Um, what, what would I do? Do I have to go through a real estate agent to order a home warranty as a current homeowner? Yeah, no, you, you basically, there's this thing called the right. internet now right. <laughs> that you just kind of Google and, and do some research on home warranty companies. You can simply call them. They'll give you pricing. Again, there'd be a 30-day waiting period. The advantage also, um, most warranty companies will provide flexible payment options for you in terms of monthly or quarterly that way. On my side of the fence, typically it's a one-time check that's written at the closing table by the attorney for the warranty company, and that coverage begins effective on the day they close and then goes for 12 months after okay. that. Right. Um, now, do I have the option to do more than a one-year home warranty like if i'm if i'm doing this for one of my buyers um could yep. we ask for a two-year home warranty instead of a one-year you could you could and you may find this funny i typically don't recommend the two-year yep. um for a couple of reasons 
we've already talked about statistically in the first year. If, if something's going to break, it's probably going to break in the first 12 months. That new homeowner is coming in and they're using the dishwasher, the micro, they're using everything differently than the previous homeowner. That's when things start to stress and, get, and, and, and break, right? right. Um, my other point in that is you might get a warranty, whether it's ours or anybody else's, and not have a very good experience with it and want to change That's at the end of the first true. year. That's true. Right? Um, and then lastly, most of the extended warranties extend the term of the warranty, but not necessarily the benefit. Okay. So, so I always recommend read the terms of the contract, see what that extra year actually gets you. Is it worth, is it worth the okay. price? Right. So, and this is just me personally. This is, this is, I, I always recommend, look, if you're going to do a home warranty on a purchase, get the best one year warranty you can afford or you can get, you can always renew okay. every warranty company. Every company will reach out to you and say, Hey, you know, you're at the end of your 12 months. Do you want to renew the warranty? Okay. So that was going to be my next question. So let's say the seller pays for my home warranty and a year goes by. Maybe I've had a claim. Maybe I haven't. Um, do I have the option to renew at that point? So, yes, okay. yep, absolutely. Um, no, I, I have heard I have heard some stories where based on your claim history, warranty companies will say, yeah, no, thanks. We really don't want to renew you this year. Right. Um, but, but we've never, we've never as on our side of the fence, have never done that again, because of our model being a little bit yeah. differently. We have a pretty good indication of what our outlay and risk is from year to year. Okay. So what, what does a home warranty cover? So we know like we have to have home insurance when we purchase a house. Yep. Um, yep. and we kind of know, you know, if my house burns down, the home, home insurance company is going to take care of that. Well, you know, as long as I'm properly insured, we'll rebuild or the tree falls on the house, you know. Um, so what exactly can you expect for, um, like, I'm going to ask this question. Um, my septic system goes out. Is that covered under a home warranty? It can be. Okay. Yeah. So, so let me, I'll give you the, the million dollar golden acronym. Okay. Um, your homeowner's insurance does cover things like act of God, rain, flood, fire, lightning, all that fun stuff. The home warranty is designed to cover the fa five major appliances in the house. And I use the acronym PEACH. We live in Georgia. It works really good. Mm -hmm. So the acronym covers, or the warranty will cover plumbing, your electrical system, the appliances in the kitchen, so your dishwasher, microwave, refrigerator, all that fun stuff, and the C and the H is for your cooling and your heating system. So typically, most warranties will cover those five major items, and then you can have a la carte offers, such as septic, well water, pool equipment, that sort of stuff. Um, our warranty is a little bit unique in the fact that we do provide coverage for things like septic, washer and dryer, actually water and sewer line, are all covered under our base plan, Okay. right? Um, so it, it, it's going to vary. The answer to the question, it's going to vary from company to company. Right. Um, you know, and in addition to that, I always recommend to all of my agents, check the limitations and exclusions, right? Just because I cover septic does not mean I'm going to replace your septic system right. if it breaks, right? right? Um, there are going to be th things like coverages from the line, from the house to the tank, um, you're going to have, again, every home warranty has limitations and exclusions. And I love when my competitors say, well, we don't have any limitations. And I'll just go to page nine and say, well, what's this? Oh, well, that is a limitation. <laughs> so, <laughs> so set the expectations. The, the warranty is designed to help offset the cost, right? The not, to, not, yeah. not, to, not to pay for everything. I love the question I get, do you guys cover roofs? Well, we do, but we're not putting a new roof on your house for $700, right? right? It's that, yeah, limited roof, limited roof coverage. Check the brochure. Ask the rep. You know, every every warranty is going to have exclusions, limitations. Yeah. So that's going to be my other thing is how, if you're selling a warranty for roughly seven hundred dollars, how are you guys making money when you, obviously on that the the people who have one and don't use the claim for that whole year, um, but somebody who has multiple things go wrong in that year and you guys are helping to pay out for that. I mean, yeah, cause anybody listening yeah. is going to go, okay, so I'm going to pay you $700 and there might be a scenario where you give me 1500 to 2000 to offset the cost of this. How right, do you make right. money? How do you feed your family? <laughs> well, well, it's, 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 it's mathematics, right? We, we know statistically how many folks are going to have claims, what the, you know, the cost of those claims are going to be. 
and you're also going to have a large percentage that don't have any cost at all. Right. Right. Um, and again, that's why home warranty companies put limitations in what they pay out. Right. Um, and that's that's one of the first lessons. In fact, when I do a, a, a training or a CE class, one of my first slides to every real estate professional is out there is the golden rule is set proper expectations. Right. Um, because don't tell your homeowner because you've got a home warranty, you're getting a new roof or your air conditioner will be replaced, right? Warranty companies are in business to make money. They're gonna do what they can, they're gonna do what they can to save money, right? Um, but again, I'm such a huge proponent on the home warranty as part of the real estate transaction because I've seen it work time and time and time again for the benefit of everybody involved. Um, and it's just, I think it's just a smart business practice when you're buying or yeah. selling real estate. Yeah. So that brings me to um, you guys. And I, I, again, I'm, this is something I'm only familiar with America's preferred, um, but you guys actually offer a listing warranty. Right. So if I have Very a common. Seller, yeah, go ahead. Yep. Yep. Very common. Most warranty companies do that. And, and, you know, just to, just to set expectations correctly. The listing warranty is designed as an incentive to the seller to ensure that they provide a home warranty to the buyer, right? So it's it's a mechanism that most warranty companies do utilize to say, we really think you should put a warranty on for your buyer, Mr. Seller, and if you're willing to do that, we'll provide you warranty coverage while the house is on the market, right? So what what I have discovered over the years is very few agents take advantage of it. It truly is something that now, and I can't speak for every warranty company out there, but under our home warranty, not only will we cover things that might break, and I've seen it happen over the years. I list the house on Thursday. We're going to have a big open house on Sunday, and Saturday night the water heater breaks, right? It's just kind of Murphy's Law. Right. But under our warranty, we'll cover those items that might break, but we'll also cover items that might be found by the inspector when he does the inspection. Okay. So, so for us, it's an opportunity to use the warranty for the for the real estate agent to separate and differentiate themselves from some of their competition, right? Because okay. very few agents take advantage of it. Um, but again, just to be clear, the, the, the sellers and the listing warranty is a reward for a commitment to the seller to provide a warranty to the buyer. Right, so then it, it transitions from Correct. the listing warranty to going to the buyer as a full one-year warranty when you do go under contract yep or yep we just call that table yep we call that a simple conversion well yeah. and i gotta hold on for a minute because i'm looking at some of these messages from people <laughs> that i have not talked to in years <laughs> and how the fact that they know you and you know me that's just well i guess it is a you know a it is world. a business <laughs> yeah jeff ramsey david butler good to hear and see you guys man we need to catch up for sure <laughs> Um, so let's say, I know, um, I had a friend on here, Brooke, and she lives down in Jacksonville. Um, if you, you had said originally you were Northeast Georgia, um, if, and, and I have friends, I have, my brother left me, took his baby. I hope he's watching this because he knows how mad I am. <laughs> took his wife and his baby and went to Ohio. I'm still not over it. But anyway, um, you know, if they wanted one, um, obviously I don't think they're going to call you. Um, so what what for my friends who are in Georgia and then my friends who are in um, other states surrounding Georgia or the rest of my friends who are all over the country, who do they contact? Um, do they contact yeah. the one eight hundred number or is it better to they, get with an? Yeah, uh, they they, they would simply go to the website. Yeah, aphw.com, America's Preferred Home Warranty, and there's a request a quote button there and they'll have one of our reps reach out to them and talk to a little bit about the house and get some pricing right we are actually in every state in the nation other than california and that's a whole nother ball of wax about california we don't have time for that um but, but we, we eventually will knock on wood if i've got any around here we'll eventually get there um but yeah they would just go to aphw.com request a okay. quote and um one of our reps would reach okay. out yeah um so Let's say that, you know, I'm the, the, the homeowner, whether I just bought it and my agent got me the home warranty or um, I, I've i owned the house for several years and I go, you know what, like it is an older house. Maybe this would be a good idea just to have on the back burner in case something does happen. Um, and so contact you, get it all set up, 
and a couple months go by and I have an issue. Do I submit a claim online? Do I call you? Um, do I go ahead and have my person come out and then let you know that something's going on? What's the, the process that we right. should follow? So, first of all, if your water heater breaks, do not call me. Okay, please don't call me. <laughs> so, our process is really quite simple. Number one, we want the homeowner to call us or go online and simply open a claim. Okay. We, ver we verify whatever is broken and needs repair is actually covered. We have people who say their mailbox got run over or their window got broken, and that is not a major system. We hate to tell them that, right? But if it's a covered item, they receive instructions to go ahead and call their own contractor. And again, the beauty of that is if my air conditioner goes out Sunday morning and I can get to my house, someone to my house Sunday afternoon, that's the beauty of choose your own contractor, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, once that contractor is at the home, we simply ask them to call us back. We have people online or uh, via phone 24-7, 365. Okay. We, we get a diagnosis from the contractor, and then we can set up payment either directly to the contractor, if they will take a credit card, or we reimburse the homeowner. Okay. Right? So the process, again, is, is fairly straightforward. One of the other neat little kind of underlying advantages of our product specifically is that if I wanted to go to Home Depot and pick out a dishwasher or a microwave or a water heater, I can do that under our warranty. Mm -hmm. And then we would reimburse them based on whatever that, you know, that, um, that amount that we agreed to would have been. So there's some flexibility with us. And obviously homeowners like to be in charge of what's going on with their house. Right. So, you know, that's, that's one of the big aha moments that a lot of our customers have is, wow, I actually have the power to make some decisions on what's going on right. here. Right. And I think that's probably for me, that is a huge thing. Having you as a rep that I can go, hey, I got a question on this and not necessarily have to go through the 1-800 number to, to get clarification. That's a huge thing. Um, and I haven't done, uh, before I was an agent, I, would di I was a transaction coordinator. I was ordering home warranties for the agents I worked for when they were asked for, when they were put into the contract or whatever the situation was. And I have ordered home warranties from dozens of companies. Um, like I said, I have direct experience with the one that just really turned me off to the whole thing. Um, but working with you um, and I think, um, is it Colton that's down in South South Georgia, St. Simon? Yeah, we, we don't. We don't talk about Colton anymore. He he got married, took another job, and he's living in L.A. No, he, so he's not with America's Proof. For, see, that's how long it's been since I've ordered a home the, warranty in St. Simon's Island. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. No, we, we've got new representation down okay. there. And uh, don't get me wrong. Right. We miss Colton. He's, right. a, he's a great guy. No, he was. So. I'm telling you, everybody that I have dealt with with America's Preferred has been fantastic. And to my fellow real estate agents out there, when it comes to ordering a home warranty, the worst thing that or the, the part, the thing that I hate the most is to have to call a phone number and then try to give people the address or to give people the name or the email address of the client and they can't understand me. And I'm having to say it 15 times. And you guys have streamlined that process. You have made it so incredibly simple to order a home warranty I log on to the website. I click on the real estate pros. Um, if I don't have an account, I'm going to call you up and be like, hey, I need an account. You set it up like super fast. Um, and then you can just order it. I can type everything in. It's correct. I don't have to worry about somebody making sure that they spelled the email address correct or the person's name is spelled correct. And I think that's a fantastic huge bonus, especially for real estate agents who may not have the time to sit on the phone and talk to somebody to get a home warranty order. Yeah, so. yeah. it is. It is. Well, I mean, our technology is, is terrific. I'll tell you, I'm totally blessed with the fact that not only is our technology very good, we've got an app that I have agents ordering it at the closing table on their phone, yes. right? That's fantastic. But, but I, I'm truly blessed with what I consider to be the absolute best customer service department in the country, we have real live bodies that answer the phone within 30 seconds or less, depending on the day. Obviously, there are exceptions. Um, but everybody is U.S. based, yep. right? Um, you can call somebody 24-7, 365 or do it online. 
Um, and, and truly, our customer service folks make my life really, really yeah. easy. No, no, and I have to say, I that is one area where I fail because I should have that <laughs> added as a special stipulation on every single contract. Um, and I guess, you know, it's some, some things you just, you don't think about. And um, like, I'm thinking of one right now that I'm going, you know what, I probably should have put a home warranty on that one. <laughs> and that's, that's the funny thing, right? I, I, I hear that a lot. It's I've got, you know, I work with about seven to 800 real estate agencies. and I can't even tell you how many thousands of agents I deal with. But I always, I always get at least once, if not twice a month, I, I get the, oh, I should have, I should have, can we still, I didn't do it, and my homeowner's calling me, and they're not happy, right? Yep. And I just spent four, four months getting them into a house. Right. <laughs> I did everything right, but I didn't put a warranty on it, and now they're mad at me because their water heater's broken. Yep. Right? So, and I'll say, well, there goes your referral. Yep. Right. right. No, that's like, <laughs> yeah, because, I mean... Yes, I, I have worked for agents in the past that it is on every single contract. And, and sometimes, like, like if, if you don't, and most of our platforms that we use or that are available to agents to use have special stipulations that you can program into it. So all you have to do is start typing, like you can type home warranty, and it's going to pull up the entire special stipulation, and all you have to do is add it. I don't have to remember the verbiage every time. Um, but I think sometimes you just get into, we got to get this offer in quick and, you know, we just get it done and you can always add it after you're under contract, you know, during the due diligence period. Um, but sometimes I'm guilty that it just slips my mind. Yep. So I'm yep. going to be better about that. <laughs> well, and in, 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 in those situations, we, we do, we do provide some forgiveness, right? So we have agents call all the time. Oh my gosh, I just closed. I didn't put a warranty on it. Can we still get it done? The answer is yes, as long as it's within a reasonable time frame. Right. Right. Um, and my first question is, well, do we have a claim pending? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's usually the one that makes the phone call. Right. Oh my 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 homeowner just called. Their air conditioning's broken. Can we do a can we do a warranty? Well, eh, we'll see. It's too late for that. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, good deal. Well, I'll leave you guys with this. I think we said 30 minutes, yes, right? Yes, we did. Um, yeah. You know, one of the things I always recommend, and, and I tell my agents this, you know, we, we don't fit every single home that's out there, nor are home warranties designed for every single home out there, right? If I have a $2.5 million home with a $15,000 refrigerator, I don't know how much value the warranty is going to provide, right? So, again, but that's that's a simple question. But I always recommend – you know, you can go online and get Google reviews and all that fun stuff. And sometimes, I know this is hard to believe, but not everything you see on the internet is true, right? right? So, so to evaluate a home warranty, I always recommend go to the first to the Better Business Bureau, mm -hmm. right? They are a nonprofit. They are not taking money from anybody. Look at the reviews. Find out what the warranty company's history is. Um, Fortunately for us, we are an A-plus rated Better Business Bureau company in the home warranty space, which is rare. Um, but you'd be surprised. Well, you might not be surprised if people just did a little research on the warranty companies they were looking at. Mm -hmm. they, would, they, they, they would find some interesting things. Yes. Well, so. and I will say, like I said, being a transaction coordinator, I'm, I'm blessed because you actually partner with my broker, which I didn't know until recently. Um, <laughs> but there are a lot of agents out there. I feel like they feel like their hands are tied because this is the company my broker wants me to use. Um, right. And, you know, as a transaction coordinator, I may or may not have um, steered people your way, <laughs> regardless of what their broker I, were, were I hear nothing. <laughs> I hear nothing. I hear nothing. Um, no, but, and that's, you know, again, you know, it's, it's, it's because of my my experience with certain companies and I, I, I don't want to say like I felt taken advantage of. I didn't pay for the warranty. If I had paid for it, I would have been really upset. Um, but our right. seller paid for it. But I'm, on some level, I'm like, she just wasted that money because they've done nothing for us. Um, but yeah, you, I, I will say hands down, if anybody's asking me about a home warranty company, is always America's preferred because everything from the ordering of it to to understanding what's covered, 
your brochures are clear and concise. I've looked at some and I'm like, I still don't understand what they're covering. So you guys have really just streamlined and made it as easy as it can be. And I think that's a fantastic. Um, well, we, we, we appreciate that. Yeah. And again, that, that does make my life easier as well. Well, I appreciate yeah. it, sir. I hope you have a rest of the a great rest of the day. Um, and I will talk with you soon. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity and I hope you have a great rest of the day thank as well. You, sir. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.